Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So I upgraded to the latest version which is 103.9 B3 I think and we've got to do all the quests or complete all the quests. Now there were two quests I completed at the end of the last episode that I haven't claimed the rewards for. So let's do that first of all. If I remember rightly it was energized and induction so i think those will be in thermal because all of the quests have got reset so that's energetic that was it energetic i completed claim done and the other one was should be here i reckon induction Induction smelter. That should be in this particular group. Oh, there it is. Induction smelter. Ah, uh, I wonder. It doesn't matter very much. What I can do is maybe I have to make another one. <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you why. Because I restored. Oh, great one. I restored the um, game at one point in time. So I'm going to shift control space everything out of there. Like that. And I'm going to go to the quest now. I've got nothing on me good except for the food. So when I press F4, I'm going to bas basically do done, and I've got to go basically and claim all these, all of these things, and then basically dump everything. Done. I think that's what I've got to do. I ain't particularly 100% sure. The only thing I'm going to get extra is going to be a bit of XP. Done. Yes, I restored my game, um, other world, so. I was, am I in edit mode? It looks like I'm in edit mode, which isn't uh, ideal for this. <laughs> Done. Um, that was one of the things that uh, GW Surgeon said we should do. I've done all the spikes. Haven't I? It's going to take a while to do this. I don't think I'm going to do this now. What I'm going to do is just show you what I'm going to do with it once I've done it all. this that'll do I think so what he said is you do uh, BQ admin and it's also got some message about Java versions BQ admin um, edit I think edit mode off so when I press F4 now we don't go that edit mode that's right good done so we yes we don't see the we don't see the edit mode down here anymore which is good we don't really want to see that so what I've done is claim those and I'll do the rest of those off camera basically and all I'm going to do here is come along here ah can't get in <laughs> and we'll just simply put everything into the trash can like that I'll do that for the rest of the quest between episodes. I'm pretty sure I did make the induction smelter. Maybe I've got to smelt something in it. Oh yes, I did. Good. I wasn't sure because I when I restored the game, the, the, one of the reasons no, there was two reasons I restored the game. One when I press L for levels, like it was reset. So I press like that, and it's got reset. And I don't know what that, why that is. Is it because I died? Because I did die. Because I was playing around against a, a blight blaze juggernaut, and it killed me. I'm not sure if that's the reason for it, or it's some other thing. Because it seems a bit strange that that would actually happen. So now, if we look at this, we got no levels again. So sprint speed is still zero, so we can increase it, and this way we can increase, and so on and so forth. Done. And I've got to go and do all of that again. Well, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? So, and the other thing that wasn't working was the um, gear in, in the smeltery. It just was producing ingots, which was a bit weird. So I thought, oh, maybe I've got a corruption or restore. So anyway, so I restored and had to go and do a few bits and pieces again. So now, what I'd like to do in this episode is to upgrade this um, jetpack. I need to go and get everything back again, don't I? I think it's like this, and then control space. 
capital space click yeah that's good so the way I've got things is I like it like this tools on the left hand side and the rest of it in the middle and the food is in, normally in the middle but in this case I don't need to do that and I can put this hay bale away somewhere just gonna do that I think I've got maybe I've got some hay bales in here oops I can't get through the doors that's the, the movement's a bit strange at the moment if there's anywhere to go into here I think so and I'd moved all the smeltery around as well but of course that's when I restored I hadn't got that bit now what do I want to get to yeah yes I need to make two machines because we need to make the um let's look at the jetpacks I have got all the bits prepared but what I haven't done is completed this one because I need a destabilized bucket of destabilized redstone now to make that we've got to have a bottler or fluid transposer well we're going to use the fluid transposer and to make it we need a magnet crucible generally speaking I think yeah but we where we take redstone we just basically put redstone in that's a bit strange what's that one I presume we can just do yeah ordinary redstone give us 200 oh 100 100 that's 250 that's a that's a block is a thousand actually that's pretty good so I've got some ore so it'll be a thousand okay so let's go and make that for things first of all so we need to make a magna crucible and we also need to make a fluid transposer can't write this one so we'll start with the magna crucible because that's the way you normally start so what do I need so I need some copper gears and some nether bricks and we'll just check on this one I need some copper gears and some glass and a bucket and I should have those prepared actually oh that's probably why I got stuck because I was making the gears and it didn't work so I need four of each so that's 16 oops I'll tell you what I'll do I'll make I'll make eight gears because I'm always using them unless I put them into here no oh I've got six copper gears yes I have good but that I shall take that copper out of there as well and I've got the nether bricks in here as well so that's good so I should be able to make that straight away yeah we can good and I should be able to do the magnet crucible uh, the fluid transposer straight away as well yeah so now we can put those two down and we need some redstone have I got any redstone ore in here or have I crushed it all we need a bucket's worth which is 10 blocks oh yes I've got some here look um, that's actually one but I'll make we need one for each, for each time so you need two of these so I'll put these into the um, magna crucible and then feed that into the fluid transposer with two buckets and we should have everything we need so I made some space here I moved the uh, uh, atomic reconstructor back a bit so let's put down the fluid transposer second and then we can put the magnet crystal down first yeah oh yeah that behavior I can change that behavior so it says shift to move to bag and shift between inventory and hot bar well actually that's the one I want there's another one which says if I look at that again there's another one that says um, shift behavior double tap shift to toggle and I don't get that one so I do this like this press shift it should have toggled it but I don't think it has so let's just see so that's going between there and there do it again it's still going between there and there so I So I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe you can tell me. So these two should be charged up. So what we now do, first thing I do with this is I shift click the middle here. That turns all of the items off. So what we want to do is basically take the output from here and feed that to the left hand side, which is into the fluid transposer. So let's put those two in there and they won't go in. Did I misread that? Okay, well, we'll configure this one as well. Do the same thing here, shift click the middle and then select the left hand side there. We want two buckets we'll put the two buckets in here like that so they'll fill it when we get the redstone i must have 
I must have misread that. Let me just double check that uses of this one. Redstone furnace. Induction smelter. Oh. Nope. Crusher. Pulverizer. Okay, I must have misread that. <laughs> In fact, actually, it's probably better to use do it this way anyway, isn't it? Let's put this into the into this crusher because we're going to get twenty four, I think, for these two. Ten, so basically one blocks, right? Hmm. <laughs> Seems quite slow. Got to wait for the last two. So we now put these straight in here. That should work. Okay, these are basic machines, so they are quite slow. You have to upgrade them to get them going faster. So that should come out and hit into there, and then it should start filling up this. So in a short while, we'll have two of these. A short while, probably a bit longer than I wanted to be. To be honest with you. <laughs> Right, actually, while that's happening, let's have a look at some of the comments I've had. Um, so one comment I've got was from FX38. He said, I can use the Actually Editions battery to keep things charged. So I'm going to make one of those, definitely. Milikwa says, I basically need an Inferium ingot, not a Prosperity ingot, to get the luck for the Prosperity drops. And Phoenix Print says there are slime islands above the lava legs, so I've got to find those. When I've got a jetpack, well, we've got the jetpack now, so we can go and have a look at that. And then I have got, well, like I says, now I've got a, I've got a, a pick that's luck three, so I should try doing that on some blood leaves to see what happens. And the last tip I got, well, was from AFX38, and it says there's plenty of prosperity ore and dimensional shards past the polar chasm. So we'll have a look at that. Actually, there's a mob just coming in and attacking me. Let's just sort him out. Where's he gone to? There. It'll be a, it'll be an ember, but I don't see it. Oh, he's got stuck somewhere. I think. Probably trying to find a way down. <laughs> so how are we doing with these? I right, got one bucket. I have to take that out, of course. 600, we're nearly finished. Can't do much until that. I've also prepared the armor, I think. I should have got the bronze. Invert armor plating, which is at the third level up. It's this one, which we need for the reinforced jetpack. So I've got that one done, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So this is still red, which means it's working. Now this is actually working, so we've got our second bucket. It fills up fairly fast, it's just the magnet crucible that needs speeding up, really. So now we can complete that jetpack. So we need two of these. The missing redstone reception cores. I must have just used those up. Uh, okay. We'll need two of these, so... I thought I was miscounting something when I was setting everything up. So like one, and then I'll do the second one. Hardened glass was very easy. It's just ordinary hardened glass is what I used. And then we should be able to make this thing. Where's the jetpack? Have I got it? I think it's either on me. Nope, it's probably in the charger. And I, th I thought I should check when I was down here. So here we go, this one. Yes, it is. Phew. <laughs> <clears throat> I had a little bit of a little worried section there. Well, maybe I lost it somewhere. I can take the bucket out if I do. Because we get the buckets back, that's quite nice. I like when we get the buckets back. And I should be able to shift click this in. So now we've got our. Uh, Reinforced jetpack, which we can then craft with this, like this, and get our reinforced armored jetpack. And how's that look like for armor stuff? Why don't I just click that too? I 
Um, oh, there. I didn't click into place. So I've got nine and a half armor, which is actually better. But we'll get better than it was with the previous version of it, which was nine. And in fact, you can enchant this too, so that might be worth doing. We've got an enchanter as a as a quest reward, so maybe maybe I should look at that as well. I'm going to have to repair some of this um, armor in a while after my fight with the, uh, the blight blaze juggernaut. Ah, oh, there you are. You've come round through at last. Let's uh, let's get the sword into action. It's not the best thing against these, but uh, oh yeah. But I need to get this up some more levels. In fact, I think I'm nearly there. Let's have a look. Where's it gone to? Yes, I'm about 90 off being um, expert. Which is not really the case at all, but there we are. So now. What do I want to do next? Tell you what I do want to do next. I actually want to go and have a look for this prosperity shard, but while we're doing that, let's get some of these things upgraded. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Huh. Where's it gone to? I don't see the button. Maybe I have to take the jet the handy bag out. There we go. I wonder if that was hidden. Let's do this one. 24. I've only got 23. I need 11 skill points to get this up. So we can actually do this one. I wonder what, maybe landing will on a creeper just after it starts to ignite. We'll neutralize it for a few seconds. I, I think that's going to be a useful one. I don't know how many levels I've got to go up to get this to be active. I need the 11 skill points. Ah, oh, there we go. So now we can do it. So that's 48. Defense. Oh yeah, that one. It needs three skill points. Oh, we can do that one. Uh, no, it needs nine skill points and I've got three. Okay. That's going to take a while as well. But I'm getting this in fairly fast, as you can see. I'm not sure I've got enough XP in there, but we'll see. Well, it's a good use of XP anyway, so... Fact. Let's do the levels. Oh yes, that tree. I changed the tree. So have we got any string in here? Oh yes, we're getting string in at last. Good. I wasn't getting any string in there before. Let me turn this off for a few seconds. And the previous and the previous version, that's been fixed, isn't it? So now we've got string in here. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, I've got everything I need in there. I don't need these nether, nether bricks in here. In fact, the nether bricks are keeping this one, don't I? Yeah. What else don't I need with me that I've got on me? There's gears and the iron and the machine frame. I made an extra one by accident, I think, when I was preparing stuff. And the copper. And the copper gears we don't need. We can put everything back in there, into this chest. I think that's probably the best place for this stuff. What have I got wither dust in here? Don't ask me. So I was going to get upgrade some of these things. Maybe, diff maybe the attack one's a good one. So let's do that again. So... I want combat, stealth. So that, uh, yeah, this is a good one. And this one here is stealth damage. Okay, increases the sneak attack damage. Not got 29. Okay, let's cancel that. Click done, see how much we've got now. It's always this business. If, if I'm going to get this wrong, it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a nuisance. Let's do this one. This is the direct melee attack one, which is actually a really good one to do. I 
should be able to do that now. Nope, just click done. 17 levels I've got, but it doesn't register once you've actually gone past it. So we want combat again. I think it's all combat stuff that we need to do anyway. How much levels I've got in here? Well, I've still got plenty. I think that'll do for now though. Let's just do one more. What else have we got? Athletics. This was this one which was quite good to have. That decreases fall damage. Especially useful with a jet back. Done. So, there's a prosperity shard over here, and you can't see what's written behind it, but they're both interesting to go and have a look at. So let's go and have a look at those. What I did is I basically... I haven't got my jetpack with me yet, have I? That would be not sensible. It's not charged up fully. <laughs> it's nowhere near fully, is it? Well, let's put it on. I think I've got enough in here to do the stuff. Make sure, let's make sure it's in hover mode. And we'll take, make sure it's turned off to be start to start with, because it, it uses that power when it's well. It doesn't use that much power when it's not in use. Iron ore. Hmm. I'm always tempted to go. Let me just check this V. Always tempted to pick up iron ore when I come along and see some. Yeah. Just gonna get that bit there. And I'll just fill it up with mineral dunk. Now, I don't see any slime islands over here. But what we can do is we have to get down here, don't we? So I have to find a way down. And I'm oh, looks like I've already made one. Let's do this redstone as well. Lots of other back nether quartz. So maybe I can just start going down here. Probably better using this pick and I want to get it up a bit as well. That cool though. Now we need to use this one. I have not been down here before, so I don't know what we're going to meet. Well, in the sense of obviously not been down this path before. <laughs> that was fast. I'm using the wrong tool. Can I put some blocks down there? Yes, I can. Good. And we keep going down. It looks like I'm about to hit the lava. I, don't, I could fly over it, of course. That's the thing I could do. But the reason I'm not flying over it is because uh, I've done that a third time now. This pick is a bit of a nuisance when it's too fast. Okay, so I've reached some larvary bits down here. I don't want to take these magnum blocks because they're they're also difficult. Let's just and there will probably be mobs around here, so let's just close that one up and see if we can go this direction. What level are we at? No, we can't because this is also magnum. Oh, maybe I can. Let's just see if we can go over it. So fast that pickaxe, just ridiculous. Now I'll probably, I was going to use this one for doing the redstone. Now I'm about to hit lava. Set this to one two by one mode. Go like this. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. <laughs> We're too low down. So we've come below the lava lake. So let's just try going here. And then try going down. I've got some redstone all here. Let's just take that. Oh, it's got a lot of luck. Let's just try going over here. Probably hit the lava again. Because of this magma being over my head. Where are we? 
I'm doing a lot of tunneling and I don't want to want to be up. Tell you what. This is a bad idea what I'm doing at the moment. So this is the left hand side, which we'll go back. Put some torches down. Oh no, that wasn't the right way. That must be on that side. Um, ah, I'm lost. <laughs> so it's no, it can't. Oh, hold on. Yes, this is the way. Okay, so that's the left hand side. So well, I did get it right. Just remove this torch. It's actually quite tricky doing this, isn't it? Let's put the jet back on and just go down. Actually, I could have come out here, couldn't I? What's that there? Another iron ore, okay. Make sure we've got it into the right mode and let's get that one. One piece, not exciting. So that's over there. Let's go this way. It's actually what I did last time. Let's get this out. Lock it off a bit. Why oh, treading on? Oh, okay. Lava came around that side as well. I need some prosperity ore, so let's harvest this while we're here. Dimensional shards, I mean. There were four there. That's good. And then I, what I did next is I came along here. I'm not exactly sure where I did this. Somewhere like this. Set the thing into two by two mode. Uh, one by two mode, and then just harvest went through here. Well, I could, didn't obviously do it here, it must have been further up to the other side. <laughs> I did it somewhere about here, maybe here. The reason I don't want to do this is it melts into, into lava. Oh, it didn't in this case. That's actually. I thought it did melt into lava. Actually, it's quite useful to have this stuff. Let's get that shuriken into action. There's a blazing juggernaut. But this one isn't a blight version of it. Oh yes, here we are. We'll have salamanders here. Whoop. Obviously a magic mob around. And there's another blazing juggernaut. of ammo so that's no problem at all and I am definitely hitting it but god they are strong these days well I think that's a magic mob I'm not 100% sure let's get this another rack over here and go again Can make sure we get the right mode it's always got got to get the right mode prosperity is over there <laughs> thank you very much
do without this. And I hear another place. Oops, have we got, oh, I see what we've got here. So I'm actually holding down shift right, got rid of him. Good. I can definitely hear a salamander. Can't see one yet. I definitely didn't come this route as well when I went um, the first time. Because I didn't see any of this stuff. And they're also tough, the salamanders. Don't want to see one if I can avoid it. Good. I think we've got a little bit further to go. I've only got 300 blocks. It'd be f uh oh. So if it's some lava here, let's put this down here like that. I think there's only one block of lava, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh no, there isn't. Right, I've got to go a different route. And eat. Huh. Maybe I should be using this pickaxe, it's far too strong. Let's just fly over it. Oh, there it is, look. And this here is Underworld, I think. Under, under Garden, that's right, yes. And just around here somewhere, I found a coconut tree. I don't think it's up. Where's the prosperity chart? Over here. Let's go and have a look at it. I wonder how much, I wish I was looking at these blight, how much has he got? 171, 11. I think the Blazing Juggernaut had something in the in the region of 300 when I looked at it. Now, Prosperity is over here. Ah, oh, here's our coconut tree. And it always has one ripe coconut on it, same one. I suspect the others are going to come back when they grow again when we come back again. So I can actually get to this fairly straight easily. What's that? Nether iron ore. Okay, let's turn the jetpack off again. And let's just harvest this stuff while I'm here. Oop. Nether mine. Two. Ah, two. I think these have been upped as well. Got it. And it dropped some sort of inferior essence, didn't it? I don't like those, they're quite hard. Let's put the, oops, let's put the jetpack on again. Ah oh, that's right, I've got I've got multi-jump on these boots, haven't I? That allows you to do that. If you press space down twice, you can multi-jump your way over stuff. Magical one. It's a shame they don't drop hearts, the magical ones. I was going to pick this up, wasn't I? Uh oh, better get out of the way of that thing. There's a few of those around. So that's what that noise means, and these things are really tough. I don't know whether these are a threat or not. That's one over here. Let's get it in. I must have hit something because it's giving me a boost, power, strength boost. Right? Mm. 
not normal creepers in any shape or form. I don't know how much health they've got, but it's got a lot. Let's make sure it's weak. Now, do they drop anything interesting? That's the question. I guess they do drop these spores. So where's my prosperity shot? Got that? There's another blazing juggernaut. Where's he? Where is he? So where is that sh prosperity shot gone to? There's one here. Well, actually, there's a few more than one. Let's go and do some mining. Let's set this into um, three by three mode. V, and let's go over here. After press right button, die. I can hear him just behind me. They can't see him yet. So prosperity is, I just saw it on the map. How oh, there, 40 meters below us. Okay, yes, we're high up, aren't we? Of course, it's, it's a, a fortress here. Let's turn the jetpack off. I don't think I need it for now. And let's set this to see if I can do this mining here. And here we have our prosperity shard. I'll turn the jetpack off. That's no, a blaze, you can't see me. So let's go and get this one. I think it's probably best to use this pickaxe. Now that means there's going to be more about it. So I actually got four shards from that one, which is actually not bad. So if everything's there, then we just go and have a bit of a more of a mine and maybe we find more stuff. I think we do. So let's go down a bit and have a look. I want, I want three by three again, don't I? If I hit this side here, I'll use this one. Oh, another. Oh, that's always good. That's not quite what I wanted to do. Why didn't that? getting attacked by. <laughs> Is there another invisible one? Oh, hold on. Oh, we've got no food. That's bad. That's what my uh, problem was. Because <laughs> normally you go grey and you know we've got no food left. That's uh, right. That's a bit of a derpy thing to do, wasn't it? What have we got here? Another iron ore, okay. Why is that here? Is that because I put the jet out of the backpack off? Okay, maybe. No, it's because I pressed F by accident. So, um, what do I want to do? I want to keep going back this way down to where's base? That way. Oh, that's a good route. Let's go down there. That means I've just upgraded the pickaxe. Cobalt ore. This is the this is the nether out that produces those things. Let's have a get this stuff as well. You see it actually mines the ones that are diagonal to it as what we found now. Lively nether quartz. Maybe I'm not in the right place now. Maybe I'm too far away. Where are we? Underneath? No, we're just beside the lava, aren't we? Doesn't seem to be too many ores around here. Let's eat again.
It's like we need plenty of food when we go mining. Well, I think that's probably about it. I don't think there's any exciting parts, but when I go and do a longer, a longer excursion, when I go and do a longer excursion, I'll, I'll cut out the, the bits in the middle and just come to the exciting bits. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.